<laughs> right, hi friends. I don't know if you can lip read. I don't know what he just said, but anyway. Right, we're going to do these pork belly bites. So what you want to do, get a nice piece of belly pork, take the skin off it just like that. Then you want to be chopping it up into cubes that are about an inch and a half, maybe inch and a half to two inches square. You don't want them any smaller than that because as you cook it, it's going to, they're going to shrink. They're going to render the fat down. It's going to really give some good taste to this meat. Look at that beautiful fatty bits of belly pork. So when you've chopped it up, you want to start to season it up. So, I mean, for me, I actually like to taste the pork on the pork that I eat. I don't want it to taste of everything other than pork. Obviously, a bit of seasoning is good. So all I do, just sprinkle a good bit of salt on, bit of onion salt, and then some garlic granules. Uh, you know, make sure that you turn them round and get all of the sides of these bits of pork coated up in this stuff because, you know, you're going to cook them for a good couple of hours like this. You want it to really permeate the meat. There you go. By goodness. When you've done that, you want to basically just arrange them onto a wire rack, take them out to your grill. The grill should be set up to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Stick a bit of wood into smoke. On these, I was using a bit of beech wood. You could use anything you want. Hickory is great. A bit of apple wood would be absolutely wonderful. There you go. This stage, these guys have had a good two hours on the grill. I've turned it round just for an even cooking. Maybe a bit late by the looks of those ones in the top left corner, but never mind, still tasted good. So when you've done that, take them off the grill. You want to drop them into an oven tray like this. Sprinkle a good bit of sugar on. I'm using Demerara sugar just because I like it. I like it, the unrefined sugary taste. You could use just straight up sugar, whatever you want. Don't go. I wouldn't go dark brown sugar because that would give it too much of a treacly taste, in my opinion. This is just my usual uh, spare rib sauce. Just put about, I've made about half a cup of it for this piece of belly pork. Um, drizzle it over the top of all these cubes. Give them a good toss around. I like to toss stuff around. Try not to get it on your leg like I just did. I think, yeah, there you go. You know, I might <laughs> throw myself into it grill a bit later on, but I doubt it. Give them a good toss. Make sure that they're fully coated in that uh, that barbecue sauce. And then you want to put them back on the grill for about an hour. Uh, yeah, I reckon we're about there. This is a new thing for me, friends. I've never, this is, you know, I've just banged a load of pieces together and voiced over it. Might work, might not. I hope you enjoy it. Right, friends, and here we have these beautiful, beautiful cooked down pork belly bites. Bang them on there. Right, you're having some sun. We've yes. got some nice mashed potatoes. I've got peas with mine because I'm a grown up. Don't know what to do, really. Let's just uh, throw some onto our plates. this i mean right i'll be honest with you friends i have actually had a few of these whilst i've been cooking it and these make ribs spare ribs look like crap let's just um right i'll tell you what we'll do let's just so save this video for being really long i think we've uh, did like our little trick earlier let's bang some gravy on top of my mash oh man my mash and peas get in that's going to be good i'm just going to go straight in look at that look at that that's great oh man Oh man, that is so beautiful. Mm. <laughs> mm. Friends, this is the way to cook pork. It was absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of uh, shenanigans that we did, you know, with the different method of filming. It may work, it may not, who cares? We'll bang it on. So you've got plenty of gravy with your mashed peas. Mmm. I know somebody who loves peas. She's ace. Right, bye-bye, friends. I hope it was enjoyable. Bye-bye, friends.